Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look how vector works internally in Java. How vector works internally in Java is a typical uh, question asked in an interview. Uh, vector works exactly the same as ArrayList uh, with some minor changes. Uh, we are not considering the synchronization differences of uh, ArrayList or, or versus vector. The scope of this topic is to uh, implementation uh, of uh, uh, vector. So how ve ve basically vector internally works, right? Uh, that's the thing basically we are going to discuss. So here you can see uh, I have created an example and we have a client program and there I have created a vector, right? Vector object and I have added 10 elements initially. And here I'm trying to look what's the capacity of the array. And after that, I'm trying to add the element element and again, I'm trying to look what's the capacity. So basically guys, one important thing when default capacity of vector is 10. So once you add the 10, 10 elements and if you check the capacity, still this will tell you capacity is 10. Once you try to add the 11th elements means you are going to, I mean the capacity, right? Beyond of the capacity which was the def default as 10. Now if you try to add elements, element then capacity is gonna increase by twice. So default capacity is 10. So after that, after adding element element, if you try to see what's the capacity, this will tell you uh, capacity would be 20, right? And that's the not case in the array, right? So array, if you is, if you add 10 elements and after that, if you try to add one more element, so there will not be any space to add uh, element element in the internal created array. So capacity will be increased by the 50%. So in case of array list, basically, uh, uh, I mean, size will be increased by the 50%, right? But in case of a vector size will be uh, internal, I mean, array size will be increased by the, uh, by the twice. So that's what when you try to add element elements, now after that capacity is saying that 20, right? In, in array list, you don't have any kind of method like capacity. So while looking into the, I mean, uh, uh, source code you can judge I mean uh, size of array will be increased by the 50% when will you go beyond of the uh, I mean uh, uh, default capacity and that is the 10th right that we have seen in the previous video tutorial right now uh, to have look into the three constructor so if you go to the vector then you can see there are three constructor one constructor is a uh, default constructor and within that, this is making call to the another const uh, constructor by passing 10 as the value. And 10 is nothing about that. This is the default uh, capacity. So now this, now this is making call to another constructor, which is, uh, uh, which is taking initial capacity as the parameter. And this second con constructor again making call to the third constructor by passing this initial capacity and another parameter. So let's see what is the another parameter. So first parameter is the initial capacity and second parameter the, is the capacity increment. This option is not available at all in the array list, right? Array list do not take any capacity increment. So in vector, when you create a vector, then you have a one constructor which takes two parameters. You can pass the initial capacity and you can pass the capacity increment as well. So suppose if you pass the initial capacity like uh, 15, and capacity increment like 10 then once you add the 15 elements and when you try to add a 16th element then capacity will be incre incremented by the 10 so this is this option is there so now if you look into the implementation of this uh, inside the constructors uh, you can check you can see here check checking is happens initial capacity is less than zero then this is uh, this is going to throw a illegal argument exception at runtime saying that illegal capacity and that capacity is printed if you pass the initial capacity as negative then definitely this is gonna throw runtime exception if this initial capacity you are going to pass as some positive value then one element array this is nothing but the object array so basically backing data structure of vector is also a uh, object array itself and one object array is getting created with the initial provided capacity right and whatever capacity increment you are providing that is get, getting a store in the instance variable is called uh, capacity increment that will be used further and that's what that is storing in the uh, 
uh, instance uh, variable right so that's all about the all three constructor right so here what you have seen uh, first default constructor makes call to the second uh, constructor which uh, takes one parameter again second constructor makes call to the third constructor which takes two parameter initial capacity as well as capacity increment right so here basically now let's see how add method works so suppose if you add uh, some elements in the vector then how add method, method basically grows uh, his size internally so here uh, is the basically uh, add method implementation so if you try to add uh, any elements in the vector so mode count is getting incremented by one and after that ensure capacity helper method is getting called and here uh, this is checking if mean capacity minus uh, element data dot length element data is nothing but the array which is your current uh, underlying array so if mean capacity is greater than element data dot length or you can say mean capacity minus element data dot length is greater than zero then this is realizing that uh, underlying array has to grow and that's what array grow method is getting called by passing the minimum capacity and here you can see first of all uh, old capacity is getting calculated by uh, by identifying the length of the current uh, uh, object array so that is getting stored in the old capacity now new capacity equals equals to old capacity plus if capacity increment is greater than zero then that capacity uh, increment will be added into the old capacity right if uh, this is not the case if uh, capacity increment you do not pass anything and that is the zero itself then old capacity is gonna uh, gonna add so if your old capacity is the let's say default capacity 10 then 10 plus 10 that would be the uh, twice right and that's what capacity is going to increment by the twice right and this is the things uh, how you can see the stuffs are getting calculated over here uh, what we have seen in the how array list works internally so in same fashion rest of the code code is there so you can go through so that's that's it i wanted to discuss over here uh, and one more uh, important difference between array list and vector you can you can see uh, vector most of the methods are uh, uh, synchronized by the nature right if you look into the methods so methods are synchronized so when you require a thread safety right then basically uh, you may use a uh, vector but uh, these days uh, if you look into the java.util.concurrent package there are a lot of uh, concurrent data structure available which is much more efficient than the vector so vector rarely people use in in the city these days right so that that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial in next video tutorial we'll see how uh, we'll take another data structure like uh, link list and we'll see what is the internal working uh, of uh, link list so guys big thank you for watching this video and see you next video tutorial